Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Gruul Bombardment. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing well today. I am really stoked because this is a fresh new take on a deck that we have already seen before. Now, I know there's some probably harsh feelings towards Arcane Bombardment, and for good reason. We'll talk about that as we go through. But uh, this is brought to you by Hamhawks, who is actually not a creator that I have heard of before. So uh, I will just go ahead and say I will link Hamhawks down below. Hamhawks, thank you so much uh, for sharing this list over on Aetherhub. I really do appreciate it, and I'm excited to give this one a try. Uh, I think this is going to be a really fun one. I've only played one game with it. Um, no, we did not get the bombardment down, but I just kind of wanted to get a feel for the deck uh, a little bit more, and so it was, I think, worthwhile. Um, now, one thing to note, I mentioned Arcane Bombardment is a bit of a, a very all-in kind of card that some people don't really like, uh, and I get why. It's a very frustrating card to play against. However, there are a lot of answers for it in standard right now. And so you see a little bit less of it uh, than we used to when the, the card was first um, kind of released. Uh, and so I think at this point, Arcane Bombardment decks are generally just not as good, but this being a fresh new take on the deck, I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, and so that's kind of where we're at today. We're just gonna have a fun time with this one. So uh, the way that this deck works is actually pretty straightforward. So in the early turns of the game, we have a smoldering egg that we of course want to get down so we can start getting counters on it and flipping it into the Ashmouth Dragon. Now, uh, to, to help us get there, we've got a couple of burn spells. We do have safekeeping for some protection and some life gain. Uh, we do have a couple of other burn spells up here, so call in a professional as a one of. Kind of an interesting one. Uh, players can't gain life this turn and damage can't be prevented. Call in, call in a professional deals three damage to any target. Uh, shield counters don't prevent this damage as they are removed. Um, just kind of interesting. At, it's not a card that I've actually played with before, and it, it is just a burn spell, but it is actually a really interesting one. Uh, we do have Igneous Inspiration, which of course opens up the sideboard option. Uh, Balaged Recovery, which is a crucial card for the deck because we can just bring stuff back, whatever we need to bring back. Uh, whether that be one of our threats, an Arcane Bombardment, uh, a Burn Spell, whatever we need to bring back, we certainly can. It also does increase our land count, of course. Uh, Dire Strain Rampage is kind of the ramp for the deck. Uh, if I'm understanding everything correctly, which is actually kind of nice because it deck thins you and gets you further in. Uh, and so I actually really like this uh, as an option for us. And then later in the game, of course, we can just start to blow up artifacts, enchantments, or lands on the opponent's side. <clears throat> as we have gotten to the Arcane Bombardment, we start to replay it every turn, all that stuff. So very interesting. Uh, big score does draw us into the deck as well as creating a couple of treasure tokens for us so we can ramp there. And then in the five drop slot, we actually have both of our big payoffs. Uh, the first of which is a very obvious burn down the house. We all kind of know how good this is in the bombardment decks, but we also get Invoke the Ancients because it is a Gruul deck, which I think is really interesting. Create two four or five green spirit creature tokens. For each of them, put your choice of a Vigilance, Reach, or Trample counter on them. Uh, and so you can start to really flood the board with Invoke the Ancients every single turn, which I really like. Uh, obviously, Arcane Bombardment is sitting at the top, and that's basically the deck. Uh, I'm really curious to see how this one goes. Again, I don't expect to do super well because I think there are so many answers for Arcane Bombardment in uh, play right now. But I do kind of want to see if we can get it going, just because the last time we played a Bombardment deck, it really didn't work out as well as we'd hoped. I'm hoping for a little bit better this time, and I think it's going to be a really fun one. So let's jump right in. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. Uh, how do we feel about this hand? Um, it's a bit interesting. Obviously, we're a little heavy on the uh, the late drops, uh, but we do have a couple of interactive pieces in the early turns. I'm going to try it. I, I don't expect to necessarily do great with this hand, but we're going to try it. I do kind of like having just an arcane bombard bombardment ready to go. Uh, safekeeping. We're going to leave up both Spike Field Hazard or Play With Fire. Uh, just with seeing this, I'm expecting Mono Wipe. Uh, and look at that. <laughs> um, okay. Obviously don't love that, but it's fine-ish. So we'll just have to drop the uh, Rockfall Veil and see what we can do. Okay. Uh, lands would be very helpful. 
at the moment. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, as much as I don't want to, I think we kind of have to. Um, the question is, do we leave the spike field hazard in hand? Um, I think not, actually. So the only reason I say that, this is obviously going to be able to get a counter on this upcoming turn, and so there's really not much of a reason to hold up a spike field hazard when they're just going to be able to kill stuff again. Uh, Thalia kind of changes the math, but not a lot. Um, definitely a frustrating card, though, for us. All right. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Um, yeah, okay. So I think we just pass here. Um, it'd be great if we can flip this into the Ashmouth Dragon. That would be really sick. Um, yeah, okay. So we let them... Just do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. There's no reason not to. Uh, this stems the bleeding pretty heavily. Uh, it also means that now throughout the rest of the turn, they don't really have a good option either. So they do get the attack in, of course, um, and we just kind of block here. All right, so what could we get? Valaged Recovery, is that helpful? It gets a play with fire, but I don't know that that's what we need here. I'd, I'm wondering if what we need to do is just ramp into the bombardment as best we can. Although this does really help us get to the flip side. So yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Let's grab a play with fire here. Um, I wish we could play it. Uh, unfortunately we can't. Uh, it'd be nice if we could have, but the Thalia really shuts us down here and you know, it is what it is. Uh, this does allow us, if they don't deal with the Smoldering Egg, this does allow us to potentially get one of the threats off the field and flip the Ashmouth Dragon uh, next turn, which would be phenomenal. Uh, we'll see if that actually happens, but that'd be awesome. Um, Alright, let's see what the opponent's up to. Uh, I have to imagine that we're not in a good position to win this game, just in general. Um, that's interesting. So they could actually get around the play with fire if they put the counter on the adversary um, alternatively they can put it on the aspirant yeah okay uh, so unfortunately we can't block otherwise we just lose that so I think we just take it okay let's go ahead and do this um, that does kind of mess with them a little bit but truthfully we're not in a great position regardless so We'll see what we can do here, but I'm not, uh, oh yeah, okay. They definitely have us. All right, good game on the opponent's side. That was just a really, really great way to uh, deal with everything we were doing is have a Thalia. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's jump into game two. The brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing Proxy Pack, please visit patreon.com slash it resolves for details. All right, guys, here we are for game two. Let's hope for a little better this time around. Uh, how do we feel about this hand? Honestly, not a great keep, uh, but we do have the inspiration that we can get to, and I feel like that alone kind of makes it worth it. We're gonna try it. Um, I'm actually gonna lead with the layer. Uh, as much as I'd like to make sure we have the red source, I also kind of want to give us the opportunity to draw a red source without having to use the spike field hazard, just in case. Unfortunately, we did not get there. Um, I think with that in mind, we do just kind of have to throw this out and pass. Uh, that being said, I mean, seeing a hive of the eye tyrant, oh, that might change the math. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, uh, so the question is, do we just deal the three? I think not. I think we wait. Um, might be incorrect. Honestly, I don't know, but we're gonna wait. Jund, okay. Big score is kind of fun. Um, yeah, so let's do this. Um, I think we end up just leaving up the big score. Uh, and so we can discard out there, invoke the ancients, or burn down the house as we see fit. I think it's rather going to be uh, invoke the ancients, of course. But. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we actually are okay to discard the invoke because we get to just replay it later, of course. So that's kind of the idea, at least. All right. Um, hmm. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep here. We could wait, I suppose. I don't know if it was correct to do that because technically, I mean, obviously they could just have more stuff, which is terrifying. Uh, but we actually have the Balaged recovery that we can use to bring it back if we need, so. I'm not terribly worried about it, um, but killing at sushi is never exactly ideal anyway, so. All right, Storm, let's see what you get. Uh, so this is just Jund Ramp. Uh, Ren is good. And this isn't bad. Uh, we do have the inspirations though that can uh, just kind of kill some stuff here, which will be kind of nice. And a smoldering egg, I like that. Uh, let's make sure we're thinking through this properly. So one, two, three. So what we could do is uh, bring back with Balaged recovery and then burn down the house. Um, alternatively, we could Smoldering Egg, Igneous Inspiration to kill something. Uh, I don't think I like that as much. I think I'd rather take the safe play. Um, just because uh, they they have that tree, folks. So it's going to it's gonna get scary pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and do this. I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, we get a nice little three for one there, which is great. And, you know, obviously they're going to be able to do some more stuff this turn. But... I feel like that was a pretty reasonable play. Um, I'm kind of interested in this deck because it just feels like Jund good stuff. Like, Glorious Sunrise. This is a great opportunity for me to tell you about our podcast. Uh, John and I have been working on the Glorious Sunrise podcast. If you would like, please feel free to go check it out. It's a blast. It really is a blast. Um, Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I will go ahead and hit him with the uh, inspiration here. We kind of need to get some stuff going here. So, do we take the containment breach just so... Yeah, I think we do. Um, I wish we could still play it this turn, but we can't. Worth noting, we also do have Lair of the Hydra, so we can start attacking in at some point if we so choose, but I think right now we're just in protection of the Smoldering Egg and then hopefully uh, kind of dealing with the Glorious Sunrise here at some point. Uh, we also have another inspiration, so we can actually pull the mascot exhibition on the upcoming turn, if we'd like. Um, Glorious Sunrise is a ridiculous card, by the way. If you if you get it to stick, I know it's kind of tricky, but if you get it to stick and it stays on the field, it is ridiculous. Um, absolutely ridiculous. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Just gonna blow it up now. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get anything out of that, but that's fine. Um, so, let's see. We could do this. Um, just pulling any spell. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's, um... Let's kill this. I think. So, this is gonna flip the dragon. Uh, we can just pull... Hmm. It might just be this. We've got two mana left over. Yeah, let's just do this. Um, I'm actually going to kill the uh, reflection. I don't particularly love that being on the field. Uh, and then let's pull a basic. Doesn't really matter which at this point. Um, they can kill, I suppose. That might have been a bad call. Okay. Well, I'm actually okay then, because uh, truthfully, the safekeeping wouldn't have really gotten around the Riveteer's Charm. So, I'm actually okay that we did that. Um, don't forget, we do have the Lair of the Hydra, so we're not... While we are losing momentum by getting rid of the Ashmouth Dragon, we are not necessarily out of the damage race. So, that is pretty helpful. Okay, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go for six. Uh, that leaves up the safekeeping or play with fire, depending on what we want to do. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get a nice little swing in. Um, cool. We'll just pass. Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, that's fine. Curious to see if they actually discard anything here. Okay, they do. Wow, two pretty reasonable things, too. Uh, Obnixilis could have been quite good, in my opinion, but that's fine. Okay. Let's let them attack first. Uh, then we'll go ahead and kill one of these. Okay. Uh, take a little bit less damage that way, but we also just get one of their threats off the field. Ooh. <laughs> uh, there's the arcane bombardment. All right, let's do this. Uh, sure. We kind of need to just get lucky here, but let's just do this. I'm going for the cool points here, guys. I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's just go ahead and blow that up. <laughs> uh, yeah. And we gain a couple points of life. I'm into it. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to take a bit of a hit here, but... Uh, depending on what we draw, who knows? We might be able to get somewhere. Uh, I do love Arcane Bombardment when it gets onto the field, because it's ridiculous if it gets going. Um, we do kind of have to, of course, get lucky off the top, but I'm optimistic. I'm very optimistic. Could have been worth it to wait and do the, uh, the Tamiya safekeeping during their turn. I was kind of hoping we could just get a good sweep uh, with a burn down the house or something, but it's fine. Alright. Well, we're gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, this is just kind of an odd deck. Uh, I mean, it's a cool deck, don't get me wrong, but it's just like jund junk. I don't mean junk as in bad, I mean junk as in like it's just random stuff thrown together, it seems. Cool. Alright. Oh, come on. No! <laughs> oh, that's really bad. I mean, unfortunately, that's just game. We can't really dig ourselves out of that. That sucks, but it is what it is. It's all about luck. Uh, no, it's okay. Let's jump into a game three. All right, guys, let's hope for a little bit better. This is a terrible start, though. We are going to have to throw this back. We just have only one land. Um, not great, but I think we just have to kind of keep it. <laughs> Um, as much as I really don't want to. I think we just have to. Uh, if we find ourselves against Mono Red, which might very well be the case, we are probably not in good shape. But uh, Don't actually mind the Rampage. Uh, it's a little bit of deck thinning, but it's also a good pitch to big score just because it does have flashbacks. So we'll see. All right, is it? Is it? Is it? All right. We'll see what the opponent's up to here. Um, definitely don't love seeing these, uh, because chances are they're going to have ways to kind of deal with most of our big plays as we play them, uh, either in the way of counter spells or bounce spells, you know, random tempo stuff, whatever. Uh, so we're going to have to do the best we can to avoid that, but we'll see. <laughs> Nicely played. All right. Uh, let's actually play the green. We do have some big spells we're trying to get to, of course, so... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I guess we'll just blow up our own green. It doesn't really matter. We'll see if they actually care about this or not. Uh, ideally, we don't reuse this with the flashback solely because we kind of want it in the graveyard so we can use it uh, with the Arcane Bombardment later on. Um, they don't have a counter for this. I'm sorry. They have just pure red. So, All right. Would love to take that action. Um... Let's get both green sources, I think. That seems reasonable. All right. Um, up to four lands. So now we do have big score available uh, next turn. We also just have um, land and then another rampage if we'd like. So we've got some options. Opponent. Looks like being fairly methodical about the way they play, which is great. Uh, love to see that. Okay, uh, that's frustrating, but sure. Um, uh, 
Let's see. What do we want to do? I think we just hold up the big score. I don't know that we go for the egg. Maybe we do. Yeah, let's go for the egg. They they don't have anything this turn, which is great. Um, and so I'd rather get this down where we can start to capitalize on the, the big scores a bit more. Um, may not work out, I have no clue, but even if they blow up a land, we've got the Beseju that can come down. Kind of interesting that they're a smashing success deck. I have to imagine that means this is another Arcane Bombardment deck, uh, which is not exactly what you want. Um, there's our Arcane Bombardment. Okay, so let's hold off on that. Let's go ahead and big score here, expecting that this gets countered. Uh, but at the very least, we are going to get the counters on the Smoldering Egg, which is great. Um, hopefully they don't have a response, but we'll see. Oh, they're going to big score as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have to imagine this is an Arcane Bombardment deck, uh, which is a little scary. Um, I think what we're going to do is throw this down so we can leave up the Beseju, uh, because we do expect that they're going to have the Arcane Bombardment, so I'd like to make sure that we have an answer for it. That's part of why I didn't play it prior to uh, using the big score, because I wanted to see if we could hit a different land, so I'm really glad that we did. Um, they could just drop it this turn. Oh, it's a Leer deck. Okay, I mean, that works too. It's quite good. Um... They don't really have a great option this turn, though, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Enchantment or non-basic land. Okay, I think we'll just let that sit. Um, I think we just go for it. Spells can't be countered, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> All right see what happens um we do have the play with fire that we can use to kind of activate this right away to you uh the question is do we go for it now or do we wait um i actually think we go for it just so we could flip the ash mouth dragon if we so choose okay they're gonna bounce that uh do i care about that no not really that's kind of fine um Interesting that they put a Fading Hope on the Smoldering Egg. It's not necessarily super threatening. It's very good right now in general, but it's not like, it's not really doing that much. Um, okay, so... I think... I think we wait. I'm not positive on this, but I actually think we wait. Uh, we can activate this at instant speed, so we can actually uh, just hit them at any time. And we'll see what actually happens after that. Um, at next turn, I'd love to just burn down the house, get rid of Leer, and basically anything else that they decide to go for. We'll, we'll see, but uh, that would be super helpful. Um... Nice to know they're not on the Hall of the Storm Giants plan. Um, hmm. What a game. What an interesting game. Interesting matchup in general. Uh, very, very interesting matchup. Okay. So they do have double field of everyone. They can start taking care of some of our lands. They could also be on the um, Den of the Bugbear plan. Which I kind of hope they are. Uh, I think regardless of what happens, we have to play with fire this turn uh, to start stacking up on Arcane Bombardment. I think that's probably the correct play. Uh, yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Next turn, we can just burn down the house. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not. I'm not sold on any of it, but we're gonna we're gonna do the best we can here. Um, it's nice to at least have Arcane Bombardment on the field, which is. Obviously, the, the game plan. <laughs> All right. So we're going to blow up a land. Sure. Uh, interesting that they chose to do that. Pass. Let them attack in. 
Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just ping him for two here, get the scry, and get the trigger. Alright, let's see what happens. So it does pick off this, which is kind of nice. Uh, how do we want to go about this is the question. They're trying to cut us off of red. I'm actually going to go this route. Uh, this gives us a couple extra lands, which I think is worthwhile. Just make sure they can't cut us off of red. All right. Um, do we like that? Yeah, kind of. I mean, that gives us the opportunity to uh, start pulling stuff from the sideboard, so I definitely like it for that reason. All right, so... We can just do this, um, and that leaves up big score for next turn. Yeah, I'm actually going to do this. Um, we'll see if we hit the play with fire. I'm not, not sold that we are, but we're going to try. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll big score first. We'll discard another big score. Um... I guess it's this, um, just so we can get more lands out of our deck here. Select. Goodness gracious. All right. So we do get to draw a couple cards. Nice. Another inspiration. I do like that. Um, I mean, that does take care of Lear. Yeah, I think we just take that. Um, this does mean that big score will not be an option, but I think that's okay. Let's just go ahead and deal one here and see if this actually works. They could fading hope it, but we're going to force them to replay it if they, yeah, that's fine. Don't particularly care to be honest. That wasn't really a major goal anyway. Um, do we cast the smoldering egg? I think so because we're not really doing anything else with the mana. So let's just go ahead and do it. We could have just hit them for three, I suppose, but I'd rather, I think, have this out. Uh, they've already wasted their Fading Hope this turn to just protect Lear, so that's kind of nice. Now if they actually want to do anything with it, they have to hit their own, or they have to play Lear first, then replay stuff from the graveyard. Which is mana intensive. Goals. <laughs> um, all right, so... We got quite a number of things under, I mean, big score plus the rampage, both of which are good. We need to start rampaging them. Uh, that's certainly the next goal. Um, interesting they didn't do anything there. Okay. Let's just see if we can hit them. See what happens. Uh, we're kind of doing what we want to do though here, which is kind of sick. They may have an answer for this, that's fine. Okay. So you're gonna double up to kill this? I'm wondering if we even care. Um, yeah, it's kinda fine. Uh, sure. All right, uh, Play with fire you. We'll big score. And we'll do this. And I think we do start attacking their lands here. Alright. We're deck thinning for them, which isn't necessarily ideal, but we are getting stuff off the field, which is, I think, pretty important for us. Alright. Get a couple more cards. I think we get that down. Don't particularly want that. Um... Think we just take that? Yeah, let's just mascot exhibition. All right. Um, I mean, that was a great turn, and that was kind of what we wanted was just to get a really nice turn off. And now, I mean, we're relatively ahead. Like, I don't know. I mean, they've got Leer, but that's about it. They can't destroy. They can destroy artifacts, but they can't destroy enchantments that we know of. 
which is important because I think if they could, they would have done that already. Uh, but we got the haul off the field, which is great. It just means we don't have to stress about that later on. Um, they are clearly digging, uh, which is great. They discarded a spike field hazard. Um, and now we can start just attacking their lands and try and get uh, their deck kind of run down. Um, and so it's basically just going to be free land kills at some point, which is kind of the idea behind this deck, right? Is that we want to be able to start with Rampage, just blow up their lands, them not have anything to actually pull with them. And then we're in great shape, right? Like they don't have any option after that. So uh, that's certainly the goal. Wow, they burned down the house. Okay. <laughs> that was our play. Um, all right. So we're going to burn down the house. For the three devils which is going to activate everything of course um they've only got two cards in hand which is great uh let's play with fire first uh actually we did that in the wrong order uh, that's fine go ahead and big score blow this up i'm actually going to decline the other big score because i kind of want to keep the play with fire here um, the reason being, I want to activate at instant speed the Arcane Bombardment, and if we get rid of this, we're risking not being able to. Uh, obviously, we're going to draw some cards off of our big score here, which is great, but uh, it's nice to be kind of in a safe position. We'll throw that back. I don't think we want that. Excellent. Um, I've got so much under here. <laughs> it's really nice. Uh, let's just see. Do we have... We do not. So I was hoping we actually had um, a number of things, but in particular a Tamiya safekeeping, because it'd be really nice to be able to pull that just to protect uh, as best we can. But that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in for three here. Um, and then we just get to kind of activate everything next turn. So yeah. Uh, the question is, do we pull anything from the graveyard here just to with the Balagid recovery, but I don't necessarily think we need to. I guess we could pull the Smoldering Egg. That might be the good one. Okay, sure. Um, we'll just tap it for red, just in the interest of that's probably what you should do. Nice to know they don't really have anything to do, though. Um, we'll attack in. Let's go ahead and Balagad Recovery, uh, and I will just pull the Smoldering Egg. I think we're in the game plan of let's finish this one off as quickly as we can. This has been a good game, though, I will say. Uh, this is exactly what you want out of this deck, and so I'm really glad that we're actually able to do this and uh, kind of make it work. Um, Generally speaking, I find Bombardment decks to be quite difficult to pilot correctly, uh, and so it's kind of nice to see that. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna swing at him. Um, I know we technically don't need to do this yet, but I'm, before they have access to all of their... their uh, stuff in the, the bin here, I'm just gonna start hitting them with stuff. Alright, um... Play with fire. <laughs> Igneous Inspiration, Rampage, uh, we'll hit this, I suppose, and I will cast a big score. All right, sick. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, and Tammy is safekeeping. That's phenomenal, actually. So what we're doing here, by the way, is keeping them off of big score. So if we hit their red source, they don't necessarily have a second red that they can use to activate it, which is pretty important for us. Um, and there we go. We got the win. Heck yeah, guys. We finally got a win with this one. That was awesome. That's exactly how we draw it up. Fantastic. Let's wrap this game up. Realize I said let's wrap this game up, and what I meant was let's wrap this deck up or this video up. Anyway, uh, Hamhawks, thank you so much, my friend, for sharing this deck over on Aether Hub. Again, new creator to me. I will link him down below. Uh, if you guys want to go check him out, feel free. Uh, but I do really like the deck. I think it's a fun one. Um, do I think it's great for the ladder or anything? Probably not. I mean, not not uh, to speak ill towards Hamhawks, but 
Uh, I just think bombardment decks in general aren't necessarily the best in the meta right now. I don't think that means the deck is bad. I think it means the meta is well answering uh, arcane bombardment. But we did actually get to see it do its thing. That last game was perfect. That's exactly what we want to do every single time. We didn't get to see the Invoke the Ancients kind of do its thing, but... Uh, we still got to do quite a bit in that last game, and so I'm very happy with this one. I thought we had a blast with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below if you did enjoy it. It would really mean a lot to us, and if you're not already, feel free to subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We do have the Glorious Sunrise podcast coming out tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Eastern, along with some other gameplay videos, so if you are interested in checking that out, please feel free to stay tuned. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.